Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. In this tutorial, we'll go over the complete process of building a website with our digital agency kit by using the theme builder to turn it into a full-fledged site, just like you see here. The kit provides you with all the materials you need and I'll show you step by step how to connect all the different pages into one full site. So let's dive in and create it together. First, let's have a look at all the pages on the site. As you can see, we have a home page, an about us page, a services page with one sub page called social media, a clients page, a news archive page with single posts, and a contact us page. Besides for these pages, we also have a header and footer that appear everywhere, as well as a 404 page for when your visitors might get lost. OK, so now that we understand the structure, let's get started. In the dashboard, go to appearance and then themes. As you might know, a WordPress powered website uses a theme to simplify the process of creating the site. It is a collection of templates and style sheets that define the appearance and display of the website. Each theme comes with a different design, layout and features, so a user needs to choose the one that suits their taste and requirements. I'll go ahead and hit add new, then under popular, change the default WordPress theme to our lightweight and super fast hello theme. It's lighter than most themes because it comes almost empty of styling and scripts. All the design is done using Elementals Editor and Theme Builder, which we will use soon. But first, let's start creating our pages. I'll trash these default ones and click Add New to create our first page, the home page. I'll give it a name and click Edit with Elementor. In the page settings, I'll change the layout to Elementor Full Width, which includes a header, full width content and a footer. As you can see, the default header isn't complete. Don't worry, we'll create our header in a bit. First, let's open the library and search for our digital agency homepage. Here it is. I'll go ahead and insert it. Cool. Let's publish and have a look. Great. Let's move on to the About page. I'll use Elementals Finder by hitting Command or Control E. Type Add and choose New Page. Like before, in page settings, I'll change the layout to full width and give the page a name. In the library, I'll look for the digital agency about page and insert it. Hit publish and check it out. Cool. I'll go ahead and repeat this process to create the services, social media, clients and contact us pages. Now that we've finished, let's go back to the dashboard and check out the pages we have so far. If you've noticed, I haven't created the news page yet. It isn't a static page like the others. It's an archive page with dynamic content and we'll go over it soon. First, let's set the site's homepage to the one we created. Go to settings and in reading, change the homepage displays to a static page and then select the homepage to set it. Don't forget to hit save changes. Back in Pages, you can now see that the home page is set as the front page. OK, great. Let's move on. Like I mentioned before, besides for the static pages we just created, our website needs a header, footer, an archive page for the news, as well as a single post page for the posts, and lastly, a 404 page. As you might know, WordPress themes don't always allow us to control and design these parts of a website the way we like, unless we know how to code. This is where the Elemental Theme Builder comes into play, making it possible to design every part of the website dynamically, visually and with zero code required. Simply go to Templates and choose Theme Builder. This central panel enables us to access these parts of the website by creating template types such as the header, giving us total design control over them with Elemental's editor. So let's start off with the header. Click Add New Header give it a name and create the template. In the library, search for the Digital Agency Kit header and insert it. As you can see, there's a nav menu widget, which is one of the dynamic site widgets you can use to create your own header template. At the moment, the nav menu is empty because we haven't created a menu for our site yet. So let's go to the menu screen to create one. Under Menu Structure, give it a name and click Create Menu. Now, under Add Menu Items, we can add the pages we want to show in the nav menu. As you can see, there are four types of items we can add. For now, let's add the pages we created before. 
I'll go ahead and select them. Then click Add to Menu. We can reorder the menu items by dragging them to where we like. We can also set them to be sub-items by moving them a bit to the right. I'll do that for social media and set it as a sub-item for services. OK, great. Hit Save Menu and go back to our header. Let's publish it and check it out. As you can see, we can set the conditions that determine where this header template is used throughout our site. I want it to display across the entire site, but you can also choose to include or exclude them on specific pages. With a theme builder, you can even create multiple header templates, each set with its own condition. I'll go ahead and set it to entire site. Then hit save and close. Refresh the page and voila, our header has a menu. Let's move on to the footer. Go back to the theme builder and in footer, choose add new footer. Give it a name and create the template. I'll go ahead and search for the digital agency footer and insert it. Although we can see the header here as well, in this area we can only edit the footer. Like before, hit publish, add condition and set it to show across the entire site. Then save and close. Let's check it out. Great! Now we have a header and footer. Now let's move on to our news page, which is an archive page, similar to a blog for example. As you can see, it has its own custom design as well as a collection of posts grouped by category. In this case, only one category called Beyond News. Also, each post has the same layout and design because they are inherited from the same single post template. Only the content is different. Let's see how it's made. First, let's go to our theme builder and create the News Archive page. Click Archive, then Add New and give it a name. Then create the template. We can create our own archive pages from scratch, but let's insert the archive from our digital agency kit. Cool. This widget is called Archive Posts and is one of the dynamic widgets we can use when creating archive pages, such as the archive title. As you can see, it displays the default Hello World post. So we need to create new ones and set them to show here instead. First, let's hit Publish and add a condition to apply this template on all archives. Then, Save and Close. Now, go to the dashboard and click on Posts. Here you can see the post we saw before. Let's trash it and add some new ones. Give it a name and add some content. Set a featured image and add an excerpt if you like. I want these posts to be added to a category called Beyond News. So under Category, click Add New Category, give it a name and add it. Great! Now let's publish and create the rest. I'll go ahead and fast forward this a bit. You aren't missing anything. Slowly but surely our website is coming together. OK, let's go back to our News Archive page and check it out. Cool, our posts look awesome. But when we click on a post, it doesn't look that great. This is because we haven't created a single post template yet. The Theme Builder will help us here as well. It allows us to create a single post template which we only need to set up once. Then, if you create a new post, the design of the page will automatically be inherited from this template. Let's go to the Theme Builder and choose Single. Then Add New and here select Post. Give it a name and create the template. As you can see in the library, this kit has its own single post template. We can create our own one from scratch, but let's insert this one and check it out. Here is the post title, which will dynamically change according to the posts we create. You can find more of these dynamic widgets for the single post template over here. We can easily embed them by dragging the widget anywhere we like. Let's check out the post info widget. We can control the metadata items such as author and date, and add items such as comments and much more. Here we see our featured image and excerpt we set before. And this widget here allows us to edit the post content. As you can see, creating your own single post templates is quite easy, 
Simply drag these widgets onto the canvas and style them to your liking. There's also a cool feature that allows you to see what your other posts will look like with this template. Simply go to Settings and under Preview Settings, set this to Post. And search for it over here. Then hit Apply and Preview. Cool! Now let's publish and set the conditions. Here we can control where this single post template will be applied. I'll go ahead and set this to Category and search for News. Now, only the post I've added to the Beyond News category will inherit this template's design. Then hit Save and Close. Let's check it out. Cool! The posts look great. Slowly but surely, our website is taking shape. Now, let's add the News Archive page to the menu. This time, we'll go to Categories and add the News category we created before. Then add it to the menu and drag it to wherever you want. Hit Save Menu and check it out. Cool, it works perfectly. Last but not least, we need to create the infamous 404 page. Luckily, our theme builder has us covered here as well. A 404 page is what your visitors see when they follow a broken link or type in a website address that doesn't exist. To build this page, simply add another single template type and set the post type to 404 page. Give it a name and create the template. Let's insert the kit's 404 page. Then publish and hit save and close. So now when visitors get lost, they do so in style. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use Elementor's powerful theme builder in combination with our template kits and turn them into full-fledged websites. Have fun playing around and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.